Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Yeshi Chonsom. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 25th of March. India enters total lockdown to curb coronavirus spread. Top US Commander Miller reaffirms support to Afghan forces. And Bangladesh releases jail former Prime Minister Khalid Azia. And now for all the details. India began its three-week lockdown for coronavirus amid rapid spread on Wednesday, a day after Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi called for a 21-day nationwide lockdown, asserting that this is necessary for a decisive battle against the pandemic. Most roads, airports and public places wore a deserted look following the lockdown. India began its three-week lockdown for coronavirus amid rapid spread on Wednesday. Most routes, airports and public places wore a deserted look following the national-wide lockdown. This came after Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi called for a 21-day nationwide lockdown from Tuesday night, asserting that this is necessary for a decisive battle against the coronavirus outbreak. Modi said, the decision will have an economic cost, but saving people's lives is of the paramount interest to his government. India has recorded more than 560 positive cases of coronavirus so far and reported 11 deaths. Raj to bahut hi sunsaan pada hai kuch dikhai nahi de raha. To man bhi bas kafi kharab hai logo ka kuch kaam karne ke liye hai nahi pehle hal chal hoti thi yahan pe rush hota tha kafi ab to bilkul sanata chhaya hua hai. Aap bhi dekh rahe ho idhar udhar kuch bhi nahi dikhai de raha hai. To bahut bura lag raha hai ki हमारे देश में हमारे देश में पूरे वर्ल्ड में ये है तो काफी ये बीमारी है और इससे ये हालात हुए जिससे सब लोग परेशान हैं। During the lockdown period, all non-essential businesses will be closed, but essential services like groceries, hospitals, pharmacies and banks will continue to function as normal. Police were seen barricading roads and stopping vehicles to restrict people's movement. People were also seen maintaining social distancing, the only way out for the country in its decisive battle against the coronavirus. Essential things are available here. And PM Modi Ji has said what he has said, he has said what he has said and what he has said. So we should follow those things. India has already issued a ban on international arrivals and grounded domestic flights. The country's rail network has also suspended most passenger services to battle the coronavirus pandemic. In news from Afghanistan, top U.S. Commander General Scott Miller has reaffirmed the Resolute Support's commitment and support for Afghan security forces at the time when the United States has reduced its financial assistance to Afghanistan. Commander of U.S. and NATO forces in Afghanistan, General Scott Miller, has reaffirmed the Resolute Support's commitment and support for Afghan security forces at the time when the United States has reduced its financial assistance to Afghanistan. Miller on Tuesday held a video conference with senior Afghan national and defense security forces in which he discussed Taliban violence levels and COVID-19 prevention a statement by the NATO mission said. The remarks came as U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo visited Kabul on Monday to resolve the lingering political standoff in the country to move the Afghan peace process forward but failed to reach a deal between President Ghani and his rival Abdullah Abdullah. Pompeo, in a pause visit, hard-hitting statement criticized board leaders for their failure to come to an agreement. Pompeo then also announced immediate reduction of 1 billion US dollars in assistance for Afghanistan and threatened to cut another 1 billion US dollars in 2021. Ashraf Ghani and Abdullah have shown no signs of ending the dispute over the president's post till date. 
Both the leaders held competing presidential inaugurations earlier this month, paralyzing governance in Afghanistan and threatening the peace-building pact between Washington and the Taliban. Afghanistan is witnessing a rise in its number of COVID-19 cases day by day, with its western Herat province being the worst hit. The country's health minister has cited estimates saying that half of Afghanistan's population may become infected with the fast-spreading disease. Afghanistan has so far confirmed over 70 positive cases and one death. Afghan Health Ministry on Tuesday announced 32 new cases of the coronavirus in western Herat province, a major gateway from neighbouring Iran, taking the total cases to over 70 in Afghanistan. The Ministry of Public Health has cited estimates saying that half of Afghanistan's population may become infected with the fast-spreading coronavirus. Public Health Minister Firozuddin Firoz has said, that if the necessary measures are taken, the risk of getting the virus will be reduced. Otherwise, based on these predictions, more than 100,000 Afghan citizens are likely to be affected from the virus. Afghanistan recorded its first death from COVID-19 over the past weekend. But the country has conducted fewer tests and has so far imposed fewer restrictions despite sharing a long porous border with Iran, where the disease has killed nearly 2,000 people. In recent weeks, the return of tens of thousands of Afghans from Iran has raised fears about the possible spread of the pandemic in Afghanistan. The country has closed all educational institutions and reduced office hours, and the authorities have imposed a nominal ban on large gatherings. Moving on, unemployment continues to be a major concern for the youth of Pakistan administered Kashmir. To highlight the plight, the Hareke Nojawan party in the press conference recently called on the Pakistan administration to take initiatives to boost the region's tourism sector and generate employment opportunities for youth. A press conference to raise concerns over unemployment among the youth of Pakistan administered Kashmir was recently organized in the illegally occupied region. Members of the Tehrike Nojawan organization called on the Pakistan government to take necessary initiatives and generate employment opportunities for youth. They said despite having potential, youth face difficulties in finding suitable jobs and are forced to move outside their homeland in search of work. उनसे हम रखते हैं और हम उनको ये रिक्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं कि यहाँ कुछ इस तरह की एक्टिविटीज की जाए जिससे यूथ की इम्प्लॉयमेंट का जो सबसे बड़ा जो हमारी इम्प्लॉयमेंट का एक मसला है उसको हल किया जाए। During the conference, members of Tehrike Nawjawan also urged the authorities to use the region's natural beauty, saying it can increase tourism in the illegally occupied region. Tourism sector in the region has failed to realize its true potential under the Pakistan's occupation. इसकी जो नेचुरल ब्यूटी है उसको इस्तेमाल किया जा सकता है और इसमें मैं समझता हूँ कि इतना हमारे पास रेवेन्यू आ सकता है कि हमारी बहुत बड़ी आबादी हमारी जो यूथ जो मुल्क से बाहर जाके वो जॉब करने पे मजबूर है तो उससे ज़्यादा बेहतर यहाँ अपने घर में रहते हुए उनके मामला हल हो सकते हैं � Pakistan's administered Kashmir, a part of the erstwhile princely state of India's Jammu and Kashmir, was illegally occupied by Pakistan decades ago. The region ranks among the poorest and underdevelopment areas in the country, and people continue to reel under poverty. In news from Bangladesh, Bangladesh on Wednesday released jailed former Prime Minister and main opposition leader Khalida Zia for six months with certain conditions on humanitarian grounds. Bangladesh will suspend the jail sentence of its ailing former Prime Minister and leader of main opposition, Bangladesh Nationalist Party, Khalida Zia, and release her for a period of six months, the nation's law minister, Anisul Haq, said on Tuesday. The government decided to release Khalida in response to appeals from her family. We have decided to release her on a humanitarian grounds as per the instructions of the Prime Minister, Law Minister Anisul Haq said at the media briefing. The Law Ministry has sent the recommendation to the Interior Ministry for further action. 
74-year-old Khalida, who has twice been Prime Minister, has been in jail since she was convicted in a graft case in February 2018. Her health has been deteriorating for months and she was moved to hospital in April last year. Khalida, who shares a long-standing rivalry with incumbent Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, was later convicted in a separate graft case following her initial conviction in early 2018. Her Bangladesh Nationalist Party says the cases were fabricated and aimed at keeping her away from politics. Himalayan nation Nepal reported that third person has tested positive for coronavirus in capital Kathmandu on Wednesday. Nepal till date has tested 687 samples out of which three turned out to be positive while 684 samples turned out to be negative. The first person among the three has been recovered. One more person has tested positive for the coronavirus infection in Nepal's capital Kathmandu on Wednesday, days after the second case was confirmed on Monday. This brings the Nepal tally for COVID-19 to three confirmed cases. Rajesh Kumar Gupta, Information Officer at National Public Health Laboratory in Nepal, confirmed the case and said that the patient is currently under isolation at Sukhra Raj Tropical Infectious Hospital. However, among the three who tested positive, the first person has recovered. Nepal till date has tested 687 samples, out of which three turned out to be positive, while 684 samples turned out to be negative. Nepal went under a seven-day lockdown on Tuesday, a day after the central government issued the order in a bid to contain the spread of the novel coronavirus in the Himalayan nation. The lockdown will remain in force till March 31st. Nepal has closed all entry points with India and China. The government had earlier announced the closure of shopping malls, markets and other places of recreational activities till April 30 in the wake of coronavirus outbreak. The government has also set up a helpline to address queries about coronavirus and share information on the developing situation of the infection in the country. The 90-long Hindu fasting festival of Chait Navratri dedicated to the Hindu goddess of power Durga began on Wednesday but not as grand as each year as temples wore a deserted look owing to the nationwide shutdown for three weeks. The lull has however failed to dampen the spirit of devotees. Temples in India lead barren on the first day of the nine-day-long Hindu fasting festival of Chief Navratri, which is dedicated to the Hindu goddess of power Durga, as the country began its three-week lockdown to combat coronavirus. Temples across various cities, which are usually bustling and are packed with a sea of devotees every year, looked abandoned due to the lockdown. The nine-day fasting festival of Navratri is celebrated with much fervour across India. However, the devotees are dismayed with lockdown, which has dampened the spirit of the Hindu festival. Chaitra Navratri has been started from the time of the devotees have come from the time of the devotees. As Modi Ji has announced, complete lockdown. भक्तों का कोई यहाँ पे जमावड़ा नहीं जो चार पांच भक्त आप देख रहे हैं ये सब आसपास के ये प्रार्थना करने कि हे माता रानी इस जो महामारी है इससे देश को मुक्ति मिले डिफाइंग द लॉकडाउन एंड कीपिंग फेथ अबव एवरीथिंग सम डेविटीज वर स्टिल सीन विजिटिंग द टेंपल्स इन अमृतसर एंड वाराणसी सिटी टू ऑफर प्रेयर्स प्रीस्ट इन वेस्टर्न मुंबई सिटीज फेमस मुंबा देवी टेंपल परफॉर्म रिचुअल्स विद इन क्लोज टोर्स to mark the beginning of the festival and prayed for the eradication of the coronavirus epidemic. Maa Mumma Devi se nemiti group se prathna kar rahe hai Bhagwati is jagat mein mahamari se bachao karna aur jo ye mahamari fheli hai uska jaldi se jaldi si navratri mein nivaran ho. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday announced a complete lockdown of 21 days to curb the spread of coronavirus. India has recorded 562 positive cases so far with 11 deaths. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again. India enters total lockdown to curb coronavirus spread. Top US Commander Miller reaffirms support to Afghan forces. And Bangladesh releases jail former Prime Minister Khalida Zia.
Now our viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com. You can also visit us on facebook.com slash asianewsline and follow us on Twitter at asianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. will emerge from the government's three-point roadmap.